Today's the day that you master Central Texas style pork spare ribs. Y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your buddies. Start off by getting our fire going here. Let's use this pull start fire. You gotta get this and wrap it around the wood so it doesn't run off on us. And now, it's supposed to just When people ask me what a Central Texas style spare rib is, it's the whole rib, normally with the breastbone included, but this one uh, here at Sam's Club, they like to take them off. So uh, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to trim it up real fast. Got a couple of them, so I'll do it a couple times pretty quick. Um, a lot of this needs to come off for Central Texas style. The way we're gonna cook, that's not gonna render down very good. We're gonna cook hot enough for this thing to crisp up the right way, and uh, we're not even gonna notice that that uh, membrane's still on there. We'll make make sausage out of that. Then we need to shape it up some. I normally go and try and flatten it out. And then I will go into about that part of the fingertip, that top knuckle, and we'll go straight across. And this is gonna be great for sausage. This is like the best meat you can use for sausage. Go over here and round this off a little bit. And uh, we're gonna find those last couple bones here and go straight down in between it. Make sure we don't have any edges. Flatten everything out. Ah, uh, those look okay. They can be better. There we go. Now that we've got them all trimmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and season them with uh, <laughs> my lamb's rub. Uh, salt, pepper, granulated garlic, and the secret ingredient right there. Let's go ahead and get these things rubbed down. We'll flip them over and do the same thing on this side. The Central Texas style ribs, you gotta hold your, hold your season up high so it cascades over. <laughs> Make sure you're shaking anything off before you get them on the pit. You don't want anything on there. It's gonna fall off. I don't like to rub in, I'll pat. So we keep the bark that we're trying to set. We're gonna leave these uh, resting here for about 10 minutes while we're waiting on the smoker to come up to temp. All right, where we wanna be, right above 250. I'm gonna set a couple of these in here. We got a really hot Texas day today. It's about 114 degrees, so we don't have to worry about losing any temp. Normally I can throw extra logs in every like 20 minutes or so, but we're going about 30, 35 minutes on this, so it's kind of an easy cook. With this pit loaded down like it is, it's probably gonna take about five, five and a half hours to get these ribs all the way done. Uh, we're gonna wait until we get a good bark on the meat side, and then we're gonna flip them over so we can give some attention to that underside, which is gonna be that membrane that most of y'all like to cut off. You don't got to, just cook a little bit hotter and uh, pay more attention. To it. We're about an hour in right now. This is going to be exactly what we're looking for. Starting to get nice and dry on us. Still got a little bit of time to go before we're going to flip these bad boys over, but we're in the right direction. Rib check. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you. I moved it up. These are ready to flip over. Mm. Those are looking fantastic. It's about that time to start spritzing apple cider vinegar and uh, a little bit of water. That's all you need, really. Rib check, rib check, rib check, rib check. Here we go. Ready to wrap is what that looks like. All right, I got to put together this, this barbecue sauce. We'll do it on the cowboy cooker. Oh, all righty then. There we go. We'll start off by throwing some butter in there. I'm gonna throw in my buddy Saucy Luke's smoking buffalo. Oh, okay. That was about a half a cup. Maybe a cup. Get that butter mixed in there with it. Butter needed to melt down more before I did that. We're gonna cut it with a little bit of honey. A little bit more pepper in there. And we are successful. We have a little bit of our sauce down. I'd like it to be a little thicker than that. But, you know, we can always get what we want. We need to wrap it face down in that sauce. And I like to throw a little more on that side.
Oh yeah. I'm all about that. Tender as it can be. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take them all out. Pull that tack up a little bit. Put them all back in like this for a couple minutes. Right. We'll put them back in like this for about 10 minutes. <laughs> rest here after they got rewrapped for about I don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes maybe even 40 but they're done now I'm gonna eat this one I'm gonna take the rest to station 39 <laughs>